Namaste children. It's so nice to see all of you and uh, I'm so excited to tell you the story. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you Lord for the life. Thank you Lord for the love and care and protection. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary for our sins. Thank you, Lord, for the many blessings you have poured upon each one of us. As I'm going to tell the story, Lord, be with all the children, help them and make them to understand, help them to keep in their minds and practice in their everyday life. Be with the parents too. Lord, we are sinners for your sins and shortcomings. These few mercies I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, today is the title of the story is John's Special Work. From the last uh, three, four weeks back, we had learned about John and Zacharias and Elizabeth, they were so excited because they are going to have a baby boy and his name was John. And you know, John had special work for God. God loved him so much. So, John's parents knew about it. And Elizabeth, she was teaching him about the God and his love and even his creation. And she used to Teach him the Bible stories and learn verses from the Bible. So John was very happy and he had learned verses from the Bible and each time he was to remember God and his love. So his parents want him to grow bigger and stronger. So as the days went by, he was growing big and strong. And when, when he goes for a walk, he used to see pretty things and he used to remember God. And his love and his caring for him. So the years passed by. All these years he was under the care of parents and God. You know, John had a special work to do. So one day he left his home. And he went for walk. He went away from home. You know, the parents were giving him nice food. And the food which was not good for him, they never served. The drinks which are not good for his health, they never served. So, he was a completely with the control of God and his protection. So one day suddenly he left his home and he went away. And you know what special work he was doing? He was preaching about God to the people. And he said, you leave your sins 
and be good and serve God. So people were very happy. They were also excited by hearing John's words. So what he was doing, whoever repents from their sins, he is to give them baptism. You know what baptism means? He is to take the river Jordan and he was uh, uh, dipping into water and made them to rise again. So that it shows that their sins were washed away. And the people, those who were coming from the uh, river Jordan, they feel very happy because their hearts and body clean. And they were very happy. Their faces came, uh, shown very happy. So day by day, many people were coming and John was uh, giving baptism for them. So suddenly, one day, Jesus came to John and he asked him, to baptize. So John was saying, You want me to baptize you? Asked John in surprise. You don't need to be baptized. You have never, uh, you had never done anything wrong. You are the son of God. So, but Jesus told John to baptize. So, he wanted everyone to know that they should do as he did and be baptized. You know, John, though he was surprised, but he obeyed Jesus. Together, they went into the river and all the angels from heaven, they watched as John gently raised Jesus in the water and raised him. You know, he walked to the banks of the river and he knelt down and he prayed to God. When he prayed and the Holy Spirit that looked like a dove. You know, the Holy Spirit came to him. Then all at once a bright light from the opened heavens shone upon him. Then the voice of his heavenly father said, This is my beloved son, who I am well pleased. You know, baptism means that uh, all our sins, we are going to go to God. And we are purified by water. So usually the pastors, ordained ministers, they are the ones who gave baptism in our churches. John was one of God's helpers. He was given a special work to do to prepare the way for Jesus' ministry. 
So, so now his ministry is going to start. God wants you to tell others about Jesus. Just as his helper John did so long ago. So John, a special helper for God, he was preparing for the people to show the way for Jesus and his ministry. So also, we also can tell about Jesus, those who don't know about him. And you know, everyone on this earth, they have God created. Okay? He gave a special work for the everyone. So, we have to think about it. And we can also tell about Jesus to others. And we can tell about his love and his caring. So, you might be thinking that I'm a small child. What can I do? But you can tell the love of Jesus, how much he cared for you, how much he loved you. So, the Bible says, Mark the 16th chapter and 16th verse, He that believeth and is baptized, shall be saved. And the moral of the story is, we like to tell others about Jesus as John did. So, boys and girls, don't think that you are a small child. You can tell the love of Jesus to others. So Jesus from heaven, he sees how much you are telling about the uh, love of God. He will be very happy and he will bless you. Those who did not take baptism, if you want, go to church pastor and ask him to give baptism to you. So, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate on this earth. Everyone makes mistakes. So if you want to, your mistakes should be forgiven, then you should take baptism. And Jesus and his Father in heaven, they will be pleased and they will bless you. Thank you for listening to the story. We'll meet again next week. Till then, God be with us. And now we are going to hear a song.
pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the story. Thank you for enlightening Mama. Bless the children who are watching the story. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.